I really am excited to share with you a, a tool that I, that I actually discovered back in 1973 when I started UCLA Dental School. I'd already gone through four years of college. I was really clear what I didn't want to do. I knew that I, I had chosen to be in an institution that basically compartmentalized learning. And it was just a choice. I said, for me to become a doctor in four years, to become a children's dentist, which is I ultimately came up with, I'm going to have to go through this, this criteria. But I didn't, you know, to look at another four years of having to study and to learn, I wanted to go through it, frankly, an easy way. I wanted to enjoy life when I was in the prime of my life and really spend less time studying, still achieve my goals, and at the same time, you know, have fun. And I remember that for me, we're taught a lot of what to learn, but we're not really taught, in my opinion, in growing up on how to learn. And I knew that there ought to be a deficient way in that particular approach in traditional education. I, I was a slow reader. I, I had not the greatest memory recall. I barely got accepted into dental school. And I realized I wanted to spend the next four years different. I came across a book called Mind Mapping. And it was created by Tony Bazan, who's really the creator and the father of mind mapping. And it just turned everything around. I realized that I had never been taught how the brain perceives the world. What is radiant thinking? How do we take in information? Why do we recall it? And I realized that what I was taught was so limited and so narrow in scope that there was a whole nother way that can actually be fun. And that's where mind mapping came in. I immediately started to practice mind mapping just through this book and everything I did in the next four years. I had my color pens, I was doing stuff. They thought I was crazy in dental school because I wasn't taking traditional linear notes. But you know what happened? I spent less time studying because the recall and the memory was, was multiplied tenfold. I could remember things. Not because I was brilliant, but because I had this strategy and I understood how to open up a doorway that was always available, not just to me, but to all people who walk the earth. And so I, I, I took the first exam and I scored the highest in the class. Everybody started to wake up. And they said, this crazy guy with, the, I, with coloring and, and doing things that look like a child's coloring book is, is just knocking it out of the park with the grades. Literally, I mind mapped my way all through school. I actually taught mind mapping to some of the other guys in school who were having difficult times in classes like chemistry, in classes like physics, neuroanatomy, all of these things that we really had a tough time with, I was able to get through quickly, and I taught it to my, my companions in school. With that being said, when I opened up my first office, I realized this tool could be valuable in the world of business. Why? Because we need to plan, we need to have projects, we need to accomplish things. And I realized that if we have fun doing it, if we do this the way that the brain really enjoys to go through life, then my staff will probably produce better results. So I taught mind mapping and how we did this with color, with how the brain sees things, using the memory recall, and we had a blast. So everybody on my staff was required to understand not how to do mind mapping, but one project a week had to be a mind map where they did it as a team. So we developed systems, and through Tony, God bless him, through his techniques, we realized that we could do this in the business setting and produce phenomenal results. It's interesting that after 9-11 happened, they put out a proposal of what do we do to rebuild Manhattan. And you know, it was, you can imagine the complex plans that came forward to how to rebuild the, the city that happened where this tragedy occurred. And I literally have a copy of what they decided. Of all the strategies they picked to rebuild Manhattan, they chose a mind map. Why? Because it takes a very complex, strategic, sequential plan and puts it in one particular format that's easy to work with, it's easy to work with the team, and therein you have the power of mind mapping. Very powerful tool, very fun. It's a two-day program. It's coming up soon. The seats will get filled quickly. I suggest that we take everybody from like 12 years old all the way up to the oldest person who took a mind mapping class was 83 years old. So it's a great class, a great tool. Once you do it, you'll never use any other technique. I raised six children. We homeschooled our kids. Guess what they learned growing up? To this day, I see my daughter, I see my son. They sit down, they do a grocery list. It's a mind map. My son, in his college education, he would mind map all his classes. So they use the tools that will enhance the natural ability to learn. 
And let me tell you something, if it's not fun, it makes it more arduous to go through. Mind mapping is fun. And I have been privileged to work with Vanda North, who I got certified with in mind mapping with Tony Bazan as the person who started it. She was the number one instructor. So you're gonna learn mind mapping, you'll learn it the way that it was intended to be taught, and you'll be able to implement it in any part of your life. I look forward to seeing you there.